So today we're going to take a look at 29 coin batteries and try to determine which one is best. We have everything from Super Power, of course Amazon Basics, and Energizer here, which as you can see claims they are the number one longest lasting. So let's go ahead, take a look at some of the basic specs here, and then we'll go right into testing. So before we go into testing, let's take a look at the cost. Uh, now I broke this down per cell. Some of these came in single packs and some of them even came in 50 packs. But here you have it, here is how much with Night on it coming in at 20 cents versus Varta. Some of you may also wanna know where they're made. Uh, basically three different countries, with the majority being China, then Indonesia and Japan. Some of them weren't even labeled, but I would assume uh, those ones are China. I did uh, record the starting voltage of the batteries before I ran the test. Some of the batteries also had a claim storage time, so that is represented here basically from one year up to, you can see, 10 years. For load testing the batteries, it's gonna be quite simple. I'm gonna be using the Rigel DL3021. Now we can install a battery here in the holder like so. You can see we have battery voltage. The timer will count here. This battery was already load tested, so we're not gonna go through all these I'm just gonna show you the data and then we'll go from there. So again, I ran two tests. Each test consisted of two batteries and then I averaged those test results to put it in this table here. Now the first test was 0 0.010 amps and I loaded it down to 2.7 volts and this is the runtime for that. You can see the winner of that is the Toshiba, with the loser being the Wawa. Moving on to the other side here, when I loaded them even farther with 0 0.025 amps all the way down to two volts, you can see the Rayovac did the best, and again, the Wawa did the worst. So out of that, here are the top five. So the Night Attic, the Lib, Toshiba, Vonic, and Rayovac. Now keep in mind the Rayovac here quantity is two per pack. And then next we have the Toshiba with five, Vonic with six, Lib with 10, and Nidonic with a package quantity of 50. If it was me looking at the cost and also the quantity per package, I would probably have to say I would go with the Toshiba, then the Rayovac, Vonic, Nidonic, and Lib. That being said, it really comes down to how many batteries you're going to use per year. Honestly, I wouldn't get carried away with high package quantities because of course, over the time, the batteries are going to diminish. So hopefully you uh, found this video useful. I know it's a lot of data, but I did go through 29 different brands of batteries to try to determine which one is actually the best. Now, in a real life scenario, most of these batteries are only gonna have a small, small amp draw on them. And sometimes that amp draw is gonna be real quick, like a key, of course. So just keep that in mind from these test results, but I will say I'm going to stay away from the Wawa and any future purchases are going to be either the Toshiba here or the Rayovac. For the rest of the batteries, you can go back through and look at the results, but that's my opinion on which two I would pick right off the bat. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you on another one.